No, um, it's got a hole in the butt. It's got a hole tail. for the tail. Kid, but, no, <laughs> but she doesn't have a tail because the, the vet thought she was like a breeder dog and just kept in a cage. And so then they duck, the, they take the tails off. Uh, and so she doesn't have a tail. So there's nothing to present, prevent things from falling out the little hole. So, <laughs> so she's actually wearing a sanitary napkin, a woman's sanitary napkin inside. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I know, it's very weird. Well, thank you for putting up with Phoebe here. Don't be in her Phoebe. Well, do you know how Betsy is doing? She hasn't been back to work since she had COVID. Well, I have heard. So I wonder if there's long COVID or big one of the test symptoms. She said she's coming back, but she's not ready. Maybe she's just scared. She's kind of a scared of it because they were all over the place. Yeah. Well, she was scared of COVID before. Well, the data test really bad. People pull my mask or something. I've asked Martha a couple times. Are you going to take the mask? No. You're also yeah. private, so. Yeah. Yeah, but she's going to take it. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm not kissing. 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 i Stay here, Mom. Yeah, it's it's obnoxious. Stay here. I was wearing my mask in the fall. Yeah, because, yeah. All right, or don't stay there, I guess. Dixie's a very, very good girl. Yeah, she seems like it. Samantha's dog is pretty high strung. Yeah, and it's needy. Is it? This one's what? Sit. The barking of everybody. But, yeah, and it's so loud. It's a loud yeah. bark. It's not a little yeah. sharp. Bark, bark. It's yeah. Bark. <laughs> and then it's just a bark. Stay there. Well, like Stay. Said, it, the dog would growl at her. He's like, what? Yeah. And but then, she just, she's right. not a bite. And then like Cindy, I think, asked him, are you afraid of dogs? And I'm like, no, I don't like when they growl at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't get it. I like, know. They just think, oh, everybody will love these, these yeah. large dogs barking at me. They're going to take my foot off. <laughs> no, that's how they think. Everybody will like it. Like, <laughs> he's just going to wander around aimlessly, so. That's what it is. <laughs> Thank you for being here this morning. And you too, yes. <laughs> a breath in and out. And another breath in and out. When you're ready, taking your arms up overhead and leaning to the right side. Letting that bottom hand fall away and stretching out. And bringing both hands back to heart center. Another breath in and out. Taking our arms up overhead and leaning to the left side. Letting that bottom hand fall away. And stretching out. And bringing both hands back to heart center. Again, our breath in and out. Left hand to the right knee. Right hand travels around behind. Overlooking the right shoulder. And as you exhale, slowly turning the torso. Seeing if you might be able to look behind you. Well, I guess you get visited now, Marcia. I'm sorry? You get visited. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know she was there. And a breath in and out. How about you stay here? Right hand to the left knee, 
left hand travels around behind, overlooking the left shoulder. And then as you exhale, slowly turning your torso and seeing if you might be able to look behind you on the other side. And coming back to center. A breath in and out. We'll take our legs wide, stretching out. Samantha, hello. Samantha, this is Evie. <laughs> this is Samantha. <laughs> She's our, our slightly uh, new, untrained yoga student. <laughs> She's in the beginning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so bring that right hand to the right ankle, stretching the left arm over top. Bringing that left hand down to the right toes. Right hand to our right toes. And exhaling down, nose to the right knee, inhaling up, left hand, left ankle, and stretching the right arm over top. <laughs> right hand down to our left toes, left hand to our left toes, and exhaling down, nose to the left knee. Inhaling up, stretching wide, left fingers, right toes, and exhaling down. Inhaling up, stretching wide, right fingers, left toes, and exhaling down, nose to that left knee. Inhaling up, stretching wide, left fingers, right toes, and exhaling down. Inhaling up, stretching wide, right fingers, left toes, and exhaling down. Nose to our left knee. And inhaling up. Stretching our arms wide, bringing our elbows in, right forearm over the left, connecting our fingers. And we're going to turn our torso off to the right side. Coming back to center. And turning my torso off to the left side. Returning back to center. And as you exhale, think about dropping your elbows down to the mat. Maybe resting your forearms on the mat. Perhaps touching your forehead to your fingertips. Inhaling up, stretching wide. Bringing our elbows in, left forearm over the right. Connecting our fingers. Again, turning our torso off to the right side. Coming back to center. And turning our torso to the left. And coming back to center. As you exhale, think about dropping your elbows down to the mat. Maybe resting your forearms on the mat. Perhaps touching your forehead to your fingertips. And inhaling up, we'll bring both legs together. For our forward fold. Inhaling up, we're bending that left knee, putting that left ankle on top of the right thigh. And stretching forward for our right toes. Taking both legs long, forward fold. Inhaling up, bending the right knee, putting that right ankle on the left thigh. And reaching forward 
or our blood chose. Then taking both legs long, forward fold. Come back up and we'll come into our bow position. Bringing those hands behind our hips, taking both legs up and hands out by our knees. We'll bring our hands to heart center. Inhaling, taking our arms up overhead. Coming back, fingers into our bow position. Hands to heart center. Taking our arms up overhead. Bringing our hands back to our bow position. Once more, bringing those hands to heart center. Taking our arms overhead. And bringing those hands back to our bow position. And then coming back into our seated position. Right hand down to the floor, stretching the left arm over top. Bringing that left hand down to the floor, stretching the right arm over top. And we'll do one more bow. So we're bringing those hands out behind our hips, taking both legs up. Bringing those hands out by our knees. Taking our hands to heart center. Stretching those arms up overhead. Bringing those hands out by our knees. Hands to heart center. Stretching our arms up overhead. Hands out by our knees. Bringing them to heart center. Last time, taking them up overhead. And back out by our knees. And coming forward into our seated position. And back into our forward fold. And then we'll come forward into our tabletop position. Hands and knees. Starting in our cow position with our head up and relaxing our back. Here's calf, inhaling, tugging my head, arching my back, pulling my tummy up and holding. Exhaling back around into our cow. Our cat again, inhaling, tugging my head, arching my back, pulling my tummy up and holding. Exhaling back around into cow. <laughs> and our cat again, inhaling, tucking her head, arching my back, pulling my tummy up, and holding. And exhaling back around into our cow. We'll do our pigeon today, so we're bringing that right ankle in front of the left knee, pushing the left leg back, drawing up from the torso, and taking both arms up overhead. Bringing that left hand behind the left thigh, taking both arms up overhead, taking those hands to heart center, Turning my torso off to the right. Coming back to center. And turning my torso to the left. 
returning back to center and taking both arms back up overhead and we'll bring those hands down to the mat reaching back the left hand for those left toes that right arm comes up. Bringing both hands down to the back. Exhaling down onto our forearms. And exhaling one more time. Dropping my forehead onto the mat. And stretching those arms out long in front of us. And unwinding. Coming back into our table position. Half breath in and out. We'll bring that left ankle in front of our right knee, pushing the right leg back, drawing up from the torso, and taking both arms up overhead. Bringing those hands to heart center. Turning my torso to the right, coming back to center, and turning my torso to the left. And we're bringing both hands back to heart center. We'll take both hands down to the mat. We're reaching back with the right hand for those right toes. And see if we can take that left arm up. Bringing both hands down to the mat, exhaling down onto our forearms, and exhaling one more time, dropping my forehead onto the mat, and stretching those arms out long in front of us. And unwinding, coming back into our table position. A breath in and out. We'll take that right arm all the way out in front and bring that left leg out behind us. Bending my left knee. Drawing that right elbow back. Connecting. Left knee. Stretching out right arm, left leg. Bending my left knee, drawing that right elbow back, connecting, left knee, and stretching out. This time as we bend that left knee, we'll take that right hand around, see if we can hang on to those left toes. And coming back into our table. A breath in and out. <clears throat> we'll see if we can take that left arm all the way out in front and that right leg out behind us. Bending my right knee, drawing that left elbow back, connecting right knee, stretching out, bending my right knee, Drawing that left elbow back, connecting, right knee, and stretching out. This time as you bend the right knee, we'll bring that left hand around and see if we can hang on to those right toes. And coming back into our table position. A breath in and out. We'll take that left arm out to the side, or right arm out to the side, excuse me, and then bring that left leg out to the side. Right arm, left leg. We're going to take that left leg around behind us, bringing that left leg back out to the side. Taking that left leg around <coughs> behind us. 
and taking that left leg out to the side. And returning back into our table position. A breath in and out. This time we'll take that left arm out to the side and see if the right leg will join in. We'll take that right leg around behind us. Taking that right leg out to the side. Bringing that right leg around behind us. And once more, taking that right leg out to the side. And then taking that right leg along behind us. And returning back into our table. Up, up, in, and out. When you're ready, tucking your toes, coming up into down dog. And we'll start by walking the dog. Right knee forward and back. Left knee forward and back. Just like we're walking. Coming back into our down dog. We'll take the right hand over to the left ankle. Coming back, down dog. Taking that left hand over to the right ankle. And coming back into our down dog. We're gonna bend our knees, bringing our knees almost to the mat, not quite there, and holding. Pushing back up into our down dog. Bending our knees, bringing our knees almost to the mat and not quite and holding. Pushing back up into our down dog. And we'll do one more. Bending our knees, bringing them almost to the mat and holding. Coming back up into our down dog. Let's bring the right foot forward in between both hands in front. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale up for our warrior one. Connecting my palms together, extending my arms forward over that right thigh. Bringing that right hand back by my hip, pushing the left arm forward. Bringing both arms forward and back up for our warrior one. And we're taking both hands down on either side of the right foot. And then we're going to scoot that right foot back back into our down dog. This time we'll bring that left foot forward in between both hands in front. And when you're ready, inhaling up for your warrior one. Connecting my palms together, extending forward over the left thigh. Bringing that left hand back by my hip, pushing the right arm forward. Bringing both arms forward and back up for our warrior one. And we'll bring both hands down on either side of that left foot. Scooting that left foot back into our down dog. 
putting my weight on my right foot, I'm taking that left leg out behind me for a three-legged dog. Bending that left knee, turning my hip outward, dropping that foot over my hip. And I'm bringing both <coughs> hands back to see if I can put them around that right ankle. And returning back into our down dog. We'll put our weight on that left foot as we take that right leg out behind us. Bending my right knee, turning my hip outward, dropping that foot over my hip. And if you want it to be harder, walking your hands back. See if you can put them around the left ankle. And coming back into our down dog. Walking our feet forward, right behind our hands. Slowly rolling upward, reaching on up. Settling back into our mountain position. A breath in and out. Let's do our warrior two. Right foot is forward, left is behind, bending the right knee, arms around, overlooking those right fingertips. Taking the right hand up. Coming back, warrior two. Taking that right hand all the way down, the left is up. Coming back, warrior two. We're going to bring that lower left forearm to the outside of the right lower leg and take that right arm up towards the ceiling. And coming back into our warrior two. And stepping back into our mountain. A breath in and out. Warrior two, other side. We're bringing the left foot forward, the right behind. Left arm is out front. Reverse warrior, taking the left hand up. Coming back, warrior two. We'll take that left hand all the way down, the right is up. Coming back, warrior two. We're going to bring that lower right forearm forward, connected to the outside of the left lower leg. And take that left arm up towards the ceiling. And unwinding. Coming back. Warrior two. And stepping back into our mountain. In and out. Let's do our tree stump. Weight is on the right foot. Left ankle goes to the top on the right thigh. And bringing our hands to heart center. And then coming into that seated position. Can you chip forward, bringing your fingertips down to the mat? And then rolling back up into that seated position. And turning back into our mountain. Our breath in and out. We'll do tree stump other side. Weight is on the left foot. 
We're going to bring that right ankle to the top of the left thigh, bringing our hands to heart center. And coming into our seated position. If you choose, tipping forward, bringing those fingertips down to the mat. into our seated position. And stepping back into our mouth. A breath in and out. When you're ready, here's our sun salutation. Arms overhead. Coming forward into our forward fold. Hands behind our calves, relaxing our head, relaxing our neck. Putting our hands on the mat in front of our toes, bringing those hands up to our knees, down to the mat, up to our knees, down to the mat. Once more, up to our knees, and back down to the mat. We'll leave the right foot forward, take the left behind, into our lunge. Right palm is down, rotating, left arm and fingers overhead. Bringing that left hand down, rotating, right arm and fingers. Overhead. Bringing that right hand down, and we'll take it down into our lizard today. So we're going to drop down onto our forearms. Pushing back into our lunge. Here's our side angle. Right forearm on top of the right thigh, and taking that left arm overhead. And then we'll bring that left forearm on top of the right thigh and take that right arm overhead. And then into our reverse warrior, right hands is a look at the sun. Bringing both hands together, heart center. Connecting my thumbs between my eyebrows, looking up. Bringing those hands to heart center. And our twist. Left elbow, right knee, turning to the side. And we'll put both hands down by that right foot. Getting ready, bringing that right foot back into our down dog. Tucking my chin, bringing that left knee. Forward and holding. Putting the left foot down. Tucking my chin, bringing that right knee. Forward and holding. Putting the right foot down. And then we'll take it into our half moon. Weight is on the right palm, the right foot. We're going to turn outward to the left, picking up that left leg and taking that left arm up towards the ceiling. Coming back into our down dog. Half moon, other side, weight is on the left palm, left foot. We're going to turn outward to the right, picking up that right leg and taking that right arm up towards the ceiling. And coming back into our down dog. We'll walk our feet back into our plank position. Here's our hip dip right. Right hip towards the mat. Coming back into our plank. Hip dip left. <coughs> left hip towards the mat. Coming back 
into our plank. And we'll take that right arm and extend it out in front. Coming back into our plank. Taking that left arm and extending it out in front. Coming back into our plank. And we're headed down. Your choice. Either coming up in your forearms for sphinx. Or palms down. And pushing back for cobra. When you're ready, tucking your toes back to down and up. Tucking my chin, bringing that left knee forward and holding. Putting the left foot down. Tucking my chin, bringing that right knee forward and holding. Putting the right foot down. And we're taking that left foot forward, the right is behind, into our lunge. Left palm is down, rotating, right arm and fingers, overhead. Bringing that right hand down, rotating, left arm and fingers, overhead. Bringing that left hand down. And we're going to drop that into our wizard. So coming down onto our forearms. Pushing back up into our lunge. Side ankle, left forearm on top of the left thigh. And taking the right arm overhead. Only thing we'll sway and switch is position of our arms. Right forearm on the left thigh, taking that left arm overhead. And then taking that into our reverse warrior. Left hand, this is a the sun. Bringing both hands together, heart center. Connecting my thumbs between my eyebrows, looking up. Bring those hands to heart center. And our twist. Right elbow, left knee, turning to the side. And we're bringing both hands down by that left foot. And getting ready, we're going to take the right foot forward into our forward fold. Slowly rolling upward. Reaching on up and settling back into our mountain position. Tuck breath in and out. We're going to step the left foot back and bring our hands to heart center. From here, we're going to take it into our warrior three, taking those arms out front. Choose. We're going to pick up that back leg and hold. Stepping back into our warrior three. And then if you choose, we're going to swing that left leg all the way forward to take that into our big toe hold. And then turn back into our mind. Now we're going to step that right foot back, bringing our hands to heart center. Stretching our arms out front gives us warrior three. And if you so choose, picking up that right leg and holding. Swing the right leg all the way forward, coming into that big toe hold. And 
reach one back. Into our mother. The breath in. And out. Let's come forward into our horse. So we're turning the right knee out, turning the left knee out. And bringing our hands to our side. We're going to put the right hand on the right knee, left hand on the left knee, and bring that left shoulder so it's forward. Coming back, neutral horse. And we're going to turn to the left so we can bring that right shoulder forward. Coming back, neutral horse. Bringing our left shoulder forward again. Coming back, right shoulder forward, looking to the left. Neutral horse, and once more, taking that left shoulder forward. Neutral horse, and bringing that right shoulder forward. And then we'll come back up and settle into our mouth. Breath in and out. Coming forward into our table, and we're heading over onto our backs. <clears throat> Feet down, knees up, arms wide. Up in and out. We'll cross the right leg over the left, and we're going to take both knees off to the left side. Taking that into our shrimp pose, extending that top leg nice and long. With the right hand, we're going to reach around for the toes or the ankle on the bottom. And maybe that left arm comes up towards the ceiling. And unwinding, feet down, knees up, arms wide. Our breath in and out. We'll cross that left leg over the right, and we're going to take both knees off to the right side. Taking that into our shrimp pose, we're extending that top leg nice and long. With the left hand now, we're reaching around for the toes or the ankle on the bottom. Maybe that right arm comes up towards the ceiling. And unwinding. Feet down. Knees up. A breath in. And out. We'll take that right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. And as you roll, we're going to roll that right ankle. First one way. And then the other. Pulling my toes towards me, pushing them away, towards me, and away. And I'm starting that circle with my right leg. Making that circle go around the other way. Taking that right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, lowering that right heel halfway between the ceiling and the floor and holding. And as you exhale the next time, we're going to drop that right heel almost to the mat, not quite there, letting it hover. And as we hold that right heel off the mat, we're going to add a little bit of a curl to that. So we're going to reach our arms and our fingers out towards our knees, pick up our torso, pick up our chest, and hold. Relaxing your torso down, but we'll keep that right leg hovering off the mat. Here we go. We're going to go again up into our curl, bringing our torso hands and arms out towards our knees. 
Relaxing our torso down. And one last time, we still have that right leg hovering. We're gonna reach our arms and our fingers towards our knees, picking up our torso, picking up our head, holding that curl. Taking our torso down, we'll take the right leg all the way up, and with both hands, we're reaching for those right toes. And then releasing out, feet down, knees up, a breath in and out. We'll take that left leg all the way up towards the ceiling and roll that left ankle. First one way and then the other. Pulling my toes forward, pushing them away, forward and away. And then starting that circle with my left leg. circle go around the other way. Bringing that left leg up towards the ceiling and as you exhale lowering that left heel halfway between the ceiling and the floor and holding. As you exhale the next time dropping that left heel almost to the mat not quite there letting it hover and as that left leg hovers off the mat, we're going to add our curl to it. So reaching our hands and our arms out towards our knees, picking up our torso and holding. Resting our torso down. Keeping that left leg hovering. Picking up our torso again. Reaching our arms and our fingers towards our knees for that curl. Resting our torso down. And last time, reaching our arms and our fingers towards our knees, picking up our torso. Left leg is still hovering off the mat. Resting our torso down. And we'll take that left leg all the way up with both hands. We're reaching for those left toes. And then releasing out. A breath in and out. We're going to take this into our reverse table. So we're going to push down with our feet, down with our hands, pick our backsides up off the mat, and boost our tummies up towards the ceiling, giving us reverse table. Resting back down, coming back into our neutral. In and out. Again, we're going to take that into our reverse table, pushing down with our feet, down with our hands, boosting our backsides up, off the mat, tummies towards the ceiling, reverse table. And resting our backsides down, coming back into our neutral. We'll do one more reverse table. So here we go, pushing down with our feet, down with our hands, reverse table. Boosting our tummies up towards the ceiling. And resting our backsides down. Coming back into our neutral. Up breath in and out. We'll take both legs up towards the ceiling. And we're going to do one rotation of Pilates corkscrew. So here we go, making one rotation with both legs, bringing them back up towards the ceiling. One rotation, the other direction, Pilates corkscrew, bringing them up towards the ceiling. And this time we're going to lower both heels halfway between the ceiling and the floor and hold. Bring both heels almost to the mat, not quite there, letting them hover just off the mat. Widen your stance, taking your 
legs just nice and wide. Bringing your ankles together, letting your ankles hover off the mat. And we're bringing our legs all the way up again. A breath in and out. Again, our one rotation, Pilates corkscrew, pick your direction. Bringing your legs back up. One rotation, Pilates corkscrew, the other direction. Bring your legs back up. And now we're going to bring our heels halfway between the ceiling and the floor and hold. And as you exhale the next time, dropping those heels almost to the mat, not quite there, letting them hover. We're going to widen our stance, taking our legs nice and wide. <laughs> Bringing our heels back together and taking those legs up towards the ceiling. A breath in and out. We'll do one more round of this. So here we go. We're going to take both legs one direction. Pilates corkscrew. Both legs the other direction. Pilates corkscrew. Bringing our legs back up towards the ceiling. Our breath in and out. And here we go. We're going to take both heels halfway between the ceiling and the floor and hold. Dropping those heels almost to the mat. Not quite there. Letting them hover. Widening our stance. Stretching our legs. Bringing those heels back together so they hover off the floor. And we're going to take both legs back up. A nice breath in and out. Coming back into our neutral. Another breath in and out. And then we'll roll over and take a moment in child's pose. our inhalation for about five seconds and then push the air out for about five seconds. Begin to notice that place, that pause, between our inhalation and our exhalation. Slowly bringing your awareness to your forehead, smoothing out your forehead. Relaxing your eyebrows. Relaxing that place between your eyebrows. Drawing the relaxation down through your cheeks and into your jaw. Maybe opening your mouth just a little bit. 
to invite your jaw to relax. Bring that relaxation down through your neck. And as you exhale, dropping your shoulders, releasing them. Thinking about deepening that space between the bottom of your ears and the tops of your shoulders. Drawing the relaxation down through your arms, into your wrists, softening your hands, releasing your fingers, allowing your thoughts to just come and go. Not dwelling on any one thing. Bringing that relaxation down through your chest. Into your tummy. Relaxing your hips. Softening your thighs. Releasing your knees, lower legs, ankles, and her feet. And taking a moment to drift and melt. Continuing to slow everything down. And maybe on today's journey, you imagine a lake in front of you. Noticing everything about the lake. Maybe there's some cattails growing in the shadow, shallows. Maybe there's some lily pads in that shallow area of the lake. Maybe behind the lake, close to the horizon, you might even see some mountains in the distance. And a few of those summits still seem to have some white snow on top. Imagine the seasons of the lake. Thinking of summer. The trees all have bright green leaves. And it almost feels a little humid out and balmy. From summer, thinking about that lake in fall. It's one of those cool fall days, and you notice the mist rising up from the surface of the lake. Thinking about that lake in winter, noticing the frozen patches of the lake. Thinking about that lake in spring. All that frozen ice has melted. You can hear some birds in the trees. You can hear some ducks and geese as they busy themselves with the now thaw of water. Imagine your, your favorite place that has water, whether it's the lake, the ocean, a stream, or a river. And 
allowing yourself to connect with that body of water. And as we take a moment on our journey today, recognizing that you're all on the right path, and take a moment to see what's meant for us to see today. to your breath, noticing this peaceful, easy rhythm. Take a moment to give thanks for whatever comes to mind today. Also taking a moment to think about our intentions good things you'd like to do. Gathering those positive affirmations in our mind. And when we have those intentions gathered together, either in our mind's eye, or we can take our arms up overhead, and send all those good thoughts outward. Taking a deep breath in, exhaling out. Reconnecting with our bodies, noticing the rise and fall of our chest. As we inhale, and as we exhale, checking in with our fingers, wiggling our fingers, seeing how they feel. Checking in with our toes, wiggling our toes, noticing how they feel. Allowing our senses to bring us back to the room around us. Any sounds in the room, the temperature of the room. Taking a deep breath in, exhaling out. And when you're ready to come back from your journey, only when you're ready to come back, Gently sitting up and taking your time. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Joe.